CNN is reporting that a Russian plot to assassinate the boss of a major German weapons manufacturer was stopped earlier this year. U.S. intelligence reportedly alerted German authorities that the chief executive of Rheinmetall was just one of several bosses in the European defense industry who had been targeted by the Kremlin. Russia says that the report is based on fake information from anonymous sources. Armin Papberger, the head of one of the world's biggest weapons manufacturers and, according to U.S. officials, the target of an advanced assassination attempt, allegedly masterminded in Moscow. The U.S. alerted German allies who were able to intervene. I won't go into detail. This is the order of the day. At the same time, I'm happy to tell you that we know very well that we see ourselves exposed to various threats from Russian activities and that we are very carefully watching them. Papberger is a key cog in European efforts to assist Ukraine's war machine. Rheinmetall has produced tanks and artillery shells that are crucial to Kiev. Western authorities have warned for some time that Russia is waging a sabotage campaign. Uh, and these are not uh, standalone incidents. These are part of a pattern, part of an ongoing Russian campaign. And the purpose of this campaign is, of course, to intimidate uh, NATO allies from supporting uh, Ukraine. In April, German police arrested two men on suspicion of planning an act of sabotage. Their target, a U.S. Army base in Bavaria, where Ukrainian soldiers are trained. The plot could be traced to Moscow. The first detainee then passed on this information, which the two had gathered, to a person connected to a Russian intelligence service. Then in May, a mysterious fire broke out at the subsidiary of weapons maker Deal in Berlin. Investigators say the cause was a technical defect, but media reports in Germany say intelligence services have evidence of Russian involvement. All right, let's go now to our political correspondent, Simon Young. He's on this story for us tonight. Simon, has there been any kind of firm confirmation for this story from any official source here in Germany? Uh, the short answer to that, Brent, is no, not yet. Uh, but it isn't just this uh, original uh, story about the assassination plot that's been alleged. Uh, there have also been reports by the magazine Der Spiegel here in Germany. Uh, they say, according to their sources, that Russian agents uh, were recently observed by uh, Western intelligence services um, trying to get near to Mr. Pat Berger, the CEO of Rheinmetall, uh, and, uh, you know, having him under observation. So there's uh, some credibility there. But as far as official sources are concerned, uh, they're being pretty tight-lipped. Uh, Chancellor Schultz saying that just generally, you know, Germany is aware of various threats emanating from Russia. Uh, the government says it's being uh, extremely vigilant, doing everything it can to protect German citizens. Uh, and, uh, but they also say that Russia has killed before on German soil referring to the um, assassination in 2019, uh, uh, that an assassination ordered, they say, by uh, the Kremlin. Uh, and they say that they are, you know, they're keeping this under review. There are a lot of politicians now calling for diplomatic and other kinds of reaction should this story uh, prove to, uh, you know, tr prove to be true. Uh, and um, some in the uh, opposition are even saying that uh, what has to happen is that the intelligence effort against against Russia has to be beefed up. At the same time, German defence companies are saying that they too are reviewing uh, their security uh, regimes around their personnel as well. So everyone, I think, is taking these reports seriously. GW's Simon Young with us tonight here in Berlin. Simon, as always, thank you. Our political correspondent, Matthew Moore, joins me now from our parliamentary studios here in Berlin. Matthew, hi there. What other details can you tell us about this story? Well, this is really an extraordinary story, and the allegations come from information from five US and one Western official. And according to them, Russia has been planning to assassinate a number of defence industry bosses across Europe. 
The most mature plot was that which targeted Armin Papberger, the boss of Rheinmetall, Germany's biggest weapons manufacturer. And Papberger, apparently in recent months, has really had a, a, a security detail which is, which is like that of a, of a federal minister here in Germany. And what we what we've been told or what we understand from, from media reports, the CNN, is that, that the American authorities identified this plot and said it was the most mature of all these plots and that they told German authorities who were able to intervene in good time. And this company is really crucial to, to Ukraine's war effort. They've just opened up a joint venture to repair and build tanks in Ukraine. They are the, one of the biggest producers of um, artillery, artillery munition um, to Ukraine. And we asked Rheinmetall yesterday if they could give us a comment. They said they cannot comment on security measures, but said that they are in contact with security services here in Germany on a routine basis. Matthew, how have German officials reacted to all this? Like, officials do not like to give a running commentary on, on, on things like this, but German Chancellor Olaf Scholz was asked about this yesterday in Washington at the NATO summit, and he said he wouldn't go into detail, but he did say, quote, this is the order of the day, and he went on to say, we know about various threats, threats from Russian activities and are watching them very carefully. The Foreign Minister, Annalena Baerbock, also said that this shows that Europeans must protect ourselves and not, quote, be naive. For months, really, German leaders and security officials have been warning about Russia's hybrid warfare. In recent um, weeks and months, we've seen some of that come to... Well, evidence, if you like, of some of that coming to fruition. And yesterday, the, the boss of NATO, Jens Stoltenberg, said this really does fit into a pattern that we're seeing, that Russia is targeting European... Um, Europe in a kind of sabotage attempts. Um, and so, basically, they're saying that this is proof of what we've been warning about for months, that, that Europe really needs to wake up and, 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 and work closer together um, on a security basis to, to prevent attacks of this nature. Matthew, as you've you just said, there have been warnings about a possible campaign of hostile acts by Russia. How seriously are, are German authorities taking this? Well, I mean, you have to look at in the last few months here in Germany alone, there have been little, like, incidences which have, have been suspicious. There was two men who were arrested in Bavaria earlier this year on suspicion of planning an attack on a US army base. One of the men had, had allegedly been in contact with um, individuals in Moscow. And here in Berlin earlier in the spring, there was a suspicious fire at a factory belonging to weapons makers deal. Um, and the initial findings for that report say that it was down to a technical failure, but there have been reports in the media here that there's evidence that of, of Russian involvement, all of which only adds to the concern that the West is really the subject of a hybrid warfare campaign being waged by Russia. That's our DW political correspondent, Matthew Moore. Thanks a lot for that, Matthew.